gone. I miss one. I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree. I agree. Confirm. And... Yep, this is the one. Cool, let's do it. It's amazing that they added a team lock feature. Finally. After so many times. When does this end? Tomorrow. All right. My soul has been sold successfully. I shall now turn over to the dark side. Hmm, that's some good poop. All right. Um. Pour it on. Full disclosure: I have not tested this since the first time I played with the team. <laughs> I just said like I don't care enough to really like give it my all in this tournament. I just want to do the funnies. Azuru, thanks for the gift sub. Okay, um... This team looks like it gets absolutely annihilated if I do the right lead. I think here... Talonflame is my best lead versus this team. And I do the Dondozo Tatsu in the back. Yeah. I have to go Talonflame because I don't want to, um, I don't want their energy booster, uh, Roaring Moon to end up, like, annihilating me. Yeah, their whole team drops to Dazzling if I can, like, play it right. It's crazy how the two legendary Pokemon made to set up Sun aren't even fire types. Yeah, but honestly, I, I'm kind of cool with it. Kind of cool with it. Yep, booster energy. I can outspeed at plus two. All right. Cope. Oh, please be Corrid on for no good reason. Let's go. They're gonna terrestrialize too, but I should just take a KO next turn with Brave Bird. Oh, they're Terra Steel. Okay, I thought they'd be Terra Flying Tailwind. That's fine, I can still burn it next turn, probably. Hopefully they don't Terra Blast me. Let's see if they Tailwind as well. That still does a decent amount. Focus Sash. Yep, they Tailwind. Um, it's in my best interest just to go for a burn. Yeah, let's go into Don Dozo here. And I'm gonna go for the burn onto you. I don't know if they'll have Breaking Swipe, that's my only concern. Yeah, I want my Dragon Pulse over Draco because I'm Choice Specs, and I'd rather not, like, slowly lose. Alright, he eats. I get the burn off, sick. Nope. 
Nice. I get a free switch into my ta uh, into my Tatsugiri, and then it really don't have anything for Earthquake. Get Tatsugiri in here. And then I think Scarf Icy Wind will end up winning me the game. We're done ducting, baby. Earthquake here. Alright, they're trying to stall up my Tailwind, but, like, that doesn't help them out too much. Yeah, I would say that they definitely don't have Breaking Swipe if that's what they went for. How many turns of Tailwind are left? One turn for them, one turn for me. If I can just get rid of this guy on the field right now, we're in a really good spot. They do a breaking swipe, okay. Um, I might still be able to take a KO here. It's still plus one and this guy's got really bad fizz def. Yeah, I still take a KO, nice. Get all my health back. And while Dondozo is still slower than both of the opposing Pokemon, I don't think it matters too much. Because I win with Scarf Icy Wind, I just have to get rid of the Pokemon that, like, is super threatening. If Dondozo can, like, eat a hit here, I think I always win. Or he just has to, like, not get one hit KO, it is really the only thing. Let's just Earthquake. They also have to, like, not be Dragon Dance. Oh, I am faster than both of them. Hello? These are some interesting sets. Screech? Um, alright. Ooh, wait, this could be kind of bad? It's in my best interest here to hail one of these over the other. Let me protect. Because I, I have to get some leftovers to cover here. The reason is I need to make sure that um, Dondozo and Tatsugiri don't go down on the same turn. Alright, actually I can practically guarantee that by going for sub. And then I just have to connect an Icy Wind. Because my Earthquake doesn't KO either of these, but Dazzling Gleam will KO both. Yeah, I'll sub. Because they're going to break the sub this turn with Collision Course, and then Moonblast KOs me, and then Tatsuguri is uh, the last thing remaining. Cool. Moonblast will KO me. Tatsugiri's on the field, it's Choice Scarf with Icy Wind, so I should always win with D-Gleam now. Did they target Tatsugiri? Really? Alright, the good news is I can still force the same thing. There's no reason to target Tatsugiri, you should always double Dondozo there.
All right. Now the KO the Don Dozo, Scarf Tetsuguri comes out. And I should always win by going for, um... Because we saw that my Don Dozo outsped both of them, that means that they're not max speed on either of these guys. So I Dazzling Gleam and I Icy Wind. And that should be game. GD, how you doing? Actually, targeting Tatsugiri here would be a very smart strat, potentially, to guarantee the double. Oh, uh, what do you mean? Because I think... Because if they target the, um... If they target the Don Dozo, when it goes down, it gets automatically redirected to Tatsugiri. I don't think they were thinking about that, though. I think that they were mostly just, like, thinking, like, Oh, I target the Tatsugiri here, because it's going to pop out. Because had they, had they been going for that, they would have to have known that I'm Choice Scarf Tatsugiri, and they would have had to have known, um, and, and they wouldn't have done it the next turn. They would have just kept targeting Tatsugiri. All right. Ooh, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> what is this? I'm kind of scared, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, wait, I have like the sinking feeling it's gonna be like fissure plus shed tail. I have that, I have that sinking feeling that's exactly what I'm facing. Let's go Iron Moth. Everything on my team's faster than them, so I can go Iron Moth plus um, the boy. Uh, and I think that Don Dozo isn't bad in the back for like substitute stuff. Could be double EQ, right? Possibly. Popsically. Alternatively, I could have let off Tatsugiri plus um, Miraidon and just gone for Soak plus Electro Drift. I suppose Wo Chen plus like AV. Not AV, but like Wo Chen plus um, Earth Eater Orthworm actually is kind of cool. I might look into that. If you fissure worm, it gets healed, right? Yes. Bro thinks he's Garchomp. <laughs> Tinglu Mimikyu. Okay, yeah, that's what I was scared of. Um, I wanted to guarantee a KO on Mimikyu here. All Acid Spray. And do I Terra Fairy here? I could Acid Spray Volt Switch. I think I'm gonna do that. Let's Terra Grass Acid Spray and Volt Switch out. I'm pretty sure like any move that like benefits from getting targeted by a move ignores the accuracy check. I'm like 90% sure that's how it works. All right, yeah, this uh, this Mimikyu is not gonna live to see this. Nice little spit after drop. <laughs> Let's get the guy out of here. Nice. Yeah, they really wanted TR. Uh, I can go Tetsugiri here and like go for soaks and stuff. Or even just like Acid Spray plus Muddy Waters.
There's the Tauros. It's Tauros Water. I think that my play here is always just going to be to go for Acid Spray plus Muddy Water on Tinglu. We saw it has Protect, it's not AV. Does going in and out of Dondoza reset your Scarf selection? No, it doesn't. Oh, who'd I miss? It's Tinglu, of course. At least I had Tauros. Can I get an Accuracy Drop? Nope. Uh, that could be kind of bad, depending on what Tinglu goes for here. Do you still have the Tatsugiri button? There's no Tatsugiri attached to it. I need a new Tatsugiri PNG. Throat chop? That's fine, I live. Ooh. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Hello? Alright, well, I'm not a fan of that. Oh yeah, the crit totally mattered. Uh, let me see if they have any fairy resists. That's not the button. Uh, they do have fairy resists, but... I don't know how much it matters. I don't think that they're going to go Orthworm, and if they do, I think they lose to Dondozo anyways. So let's go for the uh, Order Up onto Tauros, and a Dazzling Gleam. Alright, it's Rotom, cool. That's fine. Bex D Gleam KOs. Um, I went for order up onto the Ting Lu, so we're in a pretty decent spot here. Yeah. So to prevent a possible fissure, or to prevent losing the fissure, I think I sub here and go for another Dazzling Gleam. And then I think Dondoza should beat this thing. Because I don't think I dropped an Earthquake. Because, you know, legendary stats. Yeah, nice. Shouldn't break my sub either. Nice. Cool. Um, we just go for Order Up plus Dazzling Gleam, and I don't think they have a way around that. I think I just end up winning. This is also single target now. And I don't have to go for order up after this, I can start going for earthquakes. I'm so annoyed with that Tatsugiri crit because I would have just gone into Dondozo and won. I think that the double will maybe do it. Oh wait, that's kind of bad because I'm gonna lose my my boost. It still do a lot though. I think it makes up for the damage. Hera Psychic. Um, doesn't really change much. They just like lose the weakness.
Oh, don't tell me they're gonna make me play timer with them. They're gonna totally make me play timer with them. That's annoying. I don't wanna play timer. I don't wanna play timer. I have things to do today. I only had so much time to stream. And they're gonna make me play timer. <laughs> I mean, they're playing to the win. Well, their win condition isn't timer because my HP stat, if I remember, is higher. Don Dozo. They have like five more maximum HP. But I'm pretty sure Don Dozo makes up more of my team's average HP. I don't know. Point is, they're, like, behind on HP already. Oh, I'm not gonna time out. I just Earthquake every turn. Alright, ask me questions while I play this <laughs> awful endgame. Uh, I can't let them catch up, I just keep earthquaking. Do you always stream at this time? I started streaming at this time recently. Yeah, the reason I keep Earthquaking is because literally, like, if they protect, they're just gonna end up losing at some point. Because I get, like, more out of it. Actually, I think their decision not to protect that turn previously might have lost them the game. Because I think I just win slowly now. Not even by timer. I like the new stream time. I'm trying to just do, like, Saturday morning and Sunday morning for a little bit. Like, I, I was gonna stream earlier. I was gonna stream earlier, right? Um, <laughs> but I, I ended up just, like, sleeping in, because I was sleeping. Why don't they EQ Terra's weaker? Don't tell them that. Don't tell them that. I'm really tempted to just nae nae on them and sub here. Yeah, a stray crit like loses us this match, but it also wins us the match. Did you not PP pee -pee up your moves? I didn't think it would matter. I thought this format would be too fast paced to really like care. Uh, I was wrong. I was wrong. Now I have to start protecting. I still EQ here, in case they don't, but, you know, worth it.
I don't feel like thinking too much about this one. I'm just going to keep clicking until I crit. Alright, it looks like he's in range if I just don't EQ next turn. Because he's also within order up range here. So I order up this turn and the next turn it's a roll to KO. Oh, it's such a close roll. He's within order up range though, so I do that now. All right, take your bets. Does this KO? Does this KO? Take your bets. Oh yeah, if he EQ'd, he totally would have won, but I don't think that, I, I did, I'm just gonna take the win. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the win. All right, please do enough. It's literally a roll. It's literally just a roll. Come on. Okay, cool. I hate that game. I hated that endgame so much, bro. <laughs> I hated that endgame so much, bro. It would have been over so much quicker if they didn't crit my Tatsu. Yeah, my opponent 100% could have Earthquaked that whole time, but I'm just not going to explain game mechanics to them and win off of that. They crit me so they don't get to know how uh, how EQ works when it's single target. <laughs> All right. When am I going to stop seeing in DD Armor Rouge? They literally let you use Coridon and Muridon, and I'm still facing in DD Armor Rouge. <laughs> My pain will never end. Uh. <laughs> okay. It's gonna be a Wo Chen game. Not too fond of Ndidi Armorish. Guys, it's a rule. I lose to Ndidi Armorish. It's literally just a rule. Not of this team, but of this channel. Okay. This is 100% just going to get redirected. Alright, uh, they should 100% not be going for Expanding Force here. So I'm going to Protect and go for a Acid Spray onto you again, assuming it gets redirected. 
They should be going for armor cannon, 100%. That's probably... Okay. I don't know why they did that. I don't know why they did that. But okay. Well... I don't know if I can eat an armor cannon, bro. They're probably just gonna expanding force again, so I don't really have a good Terra. I think I'm gonna place the Volt Switch again and hope that like knockoff can KO. I think I always Terra Fairy here. They clicked armor cannon, but armor said, nah, I gotta fulfill fate. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, cool. We live. I'm gonna drop the D Gleam, though. However, this Volt Switch might KO. Maybe I can take a D Gleam. That's kind of what I need here. Okay, cool. We live. I don't think that they really eat this. I got rid of, like, public enemy number one. Twisted Spoon. I can start spamming Dazzling Gleam soon. I go Tatsu here. Okay. Two turns left to Trick Room. Pensagiri, I just need you to land one of these. Bro, you times four resist this. I just need you to, like, eat one, bro. Just eat one. Please, just eat one. I can eat a D-Gleam. I'm, I'm, I'm Tatsugiri. I have good spit F. I can eat a D-Gleam. That's all I need here. Yes! Okay. Now I need a double protect. <laughs> it might be asking for too much. Accuracy drop? One more? No. It would have happened before. Alright, now I need a double protect. And this is winnable. They withdraw? I think Tatsu lives. Fail to protect. I think Tatsu just barely lives. Perhaps. Come on. Just barely. Come on. I'll cry. No need to cry. No need to cry. Don't you dare miss. Okay, thank you. Remember how I said I start spamming, um... Remember how I said I start spamming, uh, Dazzling Gleam? I don't do that anymore, because this thing can eat it. I am clicking Electro Drift. 
And I have to land a Muddy Water on Torkoal, and that's my win con. That's how I win. I have to land it. If I miss this Muddy Water, I just lose. I can miss it on Hatterene, don't get me wrong, just not Torkoal. I have an 85% chance to land it on Torkoal. Yeah, no PP up on Electro Drift does kind of hurt. Alright, I connect on both. It looks like I just barely win. I should have probably PP Max this move. <laughs> Alright, uh, always Electro Drift Torkoal. Or no, I always target you, because I don't drop to anything Torkoal does. Nice. That was terrifying. I hate this game. Alright, I got time for one more. And then I have to get ready for a doctor's appointment. Yeah, Tatsu carry. <laughs> After it's a uh, pretty pretty underwhelming performance last game, it carried this game. Okay. Ooh. 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 What is this? Ooh. Ooh. What is this? All right, um, I have to be careful here. I have to be careful here because they could go trick room mode and I can prevent that, right? But if they go a uh, fast mode, I'm, I'm not going to be able to prevent. Or if, if they don't go trick room mode, I'm going to be in trouble. So uh, I think I actually get a lot of value out of Dozo, but I also get a lot of value out of this guy. So I don't, I don't think I bring Dozo. I think it's going to be another uh, tattoo carry. What's up, Claudius? Yes, I've, I've defied I've defied fate. Yeah, my uh, my my fate is to always lose to Indeedee Armor Vision. I defied it. I led correctly. <laughs> Two thumbs up. All right, if they're like Terra Fire, if they're Terra Fire, I just like lose. Uh, you. I kind of want to scout and just Tailwind and go like Wo Chen. I can actually go Tatsugiri here and Tailwind because I want to scout. Um, I, I want them to Terra before I attack. Because if they were to Terra Fire there, I just lose. Yep. The U turn on me. I live. I can soak whatever I need to now, though.
Ooh, he's a fast guy. All right, with this info, I feel pretty good that the sash is going to be like... I have to call out the sash. That's the only thing I don't like. I don't want to have to call out Sash. Um, I'm gonna call Sash on the on the ice guy, and I have to get this right. I can't lose my terrain. Both my mods should live that. Yeah. That kind of... That doesn't look like specs. It might be. I'm not really comfortable making that, that call yet. Go Wo Chen here. I want to reset my uh, move selection and go for a Brave Bird onto this guy to KO him. It's going to take a lot of recoil off of that. And I think that'll always put him in range of um, Electro Drift now. It just, it just depends on what's in the back. Amoongus. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I can no longer Electro Drift him. Brave Bird plus Dazzling Gleam might put him in range. The only thing is I'm going to KO my own. Uh, I'm pretty sure Brave Bird doesn't one-shot Amoongus. That's the only thing. I think I lose. I mean, I have to attempt it. Well, what can he hit you with? Flare Blitz and one-shot me. And he outspeeds me next turn, I'm pretty sure. Unless he's not max speed, in which case I have a small chance of winning. Off of Brave Bird. All right, maybe he's not max speed and Talon Flame cannot speed. Probably not though. Talon's gone. Yeah, it comes down to if Talon Flame somehow can KO with Sharp Beak Brave Bird. Nope, they go first. Ah, uh, first loss of the first loss of the tournament, but. Honestly, I'm not I'm not too upset with that. I it mostly just came down to if they had a Moongus or not, which I couldn't really 
deal with at that point. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this morning stream. I'll stream some more tomorrow morning, maybe, or even maybe later on today when I get home from my uh, doctor's appointment. But we'll see. I'm kind of busy today. But yeah, um, that's going to be it. Sorry for the shorter stream. I know Saturdays are a little bit shorter. I'll try to make them longer in the future. I'm just especially busy nowadays. Uh, but let's see what we can throw you guys towards. Who's streaming? Go ahead and raid Nino Poke Bros. They're doing a cancer charity tournament. Slash raid Nino Poke Bros. All right, make sure you go support them. They're raising uh, they're raising some money to support uh, cancer research, I assume. But yeah, have a nice night or have a nice day, guys. Uh, see you later.